Hey, what's up guys? It's Codebra from codingwithcodebra.com. And today, uh, I just have a quick like tip. Um, if you've ever seen any of my videos, one of the first things I usually do when I'm setting up my programmatic UI is I obviously delete all the scene delegate stuff in here and set up the scene delegate and the view controller. But one thing that I do is I usually make a new folder called supporting. And then I take the view controller, put it out, and then put all of this stuff. So app scene, um, I delete that main storyboard, assets launch screen. I put that in the supporting, but I always say not to move the info.plist. And the reason I do that is because if I put it in there, if I put it in the supporting file, and I want it at the bottom, looks better. And then let's just delete the main storyboard while it's lagging. Uh, while we're at it. So if we run this, I think it'll actually work, but if we build, uh, if we clear the build, um, whatever, uh, and then run it, we'll get an error. So I just looked um, in this project, I was just looking in a project, how you actually change that, because I knew you could, and it looks much nicer. So if you come into your project, go under targets, go into build settings, and you search info.plist, you'll find down here you have info.plist um, file. And what you can do is you can click it, and I can't make this any bigger for you guys, but you can just put your new path to it. And you can just put it in the supporting, which just looks nicer in my opinion. You don't have the weird P list sitting out there. So I think I need to clear the build folder and then run it. And there you go. As you can see, you don't have to have it outside anymore. So it's like an extra step. So I wouldn't do it for all my projects, but I think that it's um, still something cool and useful that I thought you guys might like. So if this helped out, please like the video. And if you want more Swift videos, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.